Hey guys, wonder if they say it shall never cease to end up. Federal government of Nigeria have sent strong message to primary school boy, which tackled Tunubu for causing hardship against Nigerians. And these have made Nigerians to talk. Nigerians just they talk left, right, and center, waiting now. In everything you they fight, they put. Well, make we hit the news and get the full details. But before then, guys, if you're just joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe to this channel. Share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's critics, who's, who speak against him and his administration, amid his efforts to solve the problems challenges, have been warned by the federal government. The federal government, through the Minister of State for Defense, Bello Matawale, say said making unwarranted and unguided statement against President Bola Tinubu's government over insecurity and rising food prices will have consequences. The federal government's message comes a day after a primary school people in the north tackled the president for causing the untold economic hardship in the country, noting that Tinubu and its team were working to alleviate the burdens on the citizens. Mr. Matawele cautioned Nigerians against using inflammatory comments against the government, he said, on guided utterances coming from some sections of the populace are insensitive and destructive and can exacerbate tensions and lead to violence in our beloved nation. Reacting to Meta Wele's statement, a commenter said, Please, Mr. Minister, provide solution to the serious hardship Nigerians are facing presently. Our president has never at any time threatened anybody. Don't spoil this government, please. Recall that in the course of his defense during a debate, the young primary school boy called out President Bola Tinubu whom he said cannot handle the country after winning the 2023 presidential election. He said the president has thrown the country into untold hardship, even with all his charisma. The young people also opposed the motion, voting should be mandatory, afforded the senator's lifestyle and budget for flashy cars noting that all Nigerian leaders should be bundled into one plane and made to crash land, the vocal young boy exclaimed, Thunder, where are you? This is the time to strike our leaders. Useless minister, instead of looking for a way to addressing what made the little boy talk like this, you are issuing threats. The young people may be a future human rights activist exactly and a constitutional lawyer but you should know that there is no president and his administration that will be happy if their country people are undergoing hardship let's believe in betterment of nigeria and nigerians as president bola tinubu keeps on emphasizing the boy should be praying for those in positions of authorities, you should not curse them. All the one people they complain, they did not hear, but when it comes to critics, then fit, hear, and respond. God will punish Tunubu and all his cabinet. These are reactions from Nigerians, and as you can see, he's getting tough. Our leaders are sleeping or snoring while the rooftop is on fire. Hmm. This fire they ignore to be little may soon become a consuming fire time take us the poor boy who spoke with all courage where is this fire and thunder begin to go after those causing us pain and grief what effort is the federal government doing to address our suffering everyday prices are going higher and higher remember death can come any moment and you will die and leave all your belongings behind. All is vanity upon vanity. Where is Wingy now? Have you seen the house he built? 
vanity. May God forgive his shortcomings. A word for a why. Hmm. Thief, Meta Wale. So the seven billion EFCC e e on your neck, Inko. God demand or God damage all of you, okay, idiots in government. The Federal Republic of Zone called Nigeria is done for separation. But they, but they will not. These leaders keep on blaming others. And may the gods of thunder strike all Nigerian leaders to death and let the permanent freedom come to the poor masses. If they arrest that boy, that is the beginning of their doom. Well, they won't do that. That would be a very uh, a costly mistake or joke taking too far. You see, why these people don't learn is that they don't listen to the message. They always go after the messenger. Someone says something. They understand. Instead of you to listen carefully and work with what the person has said, you are already threatening. What effort are you making on the issue on ground now? What effort? You want to go after those, there will be consequences, there will be this. Heaven will fall down, this, this will happen, this, on here and this. What, what are you doing? What are the efforts you are making to make sure that life becomes normal? Nigerians are frustrated. We know that they are living well. They are living very, very well. They don't even understand what Nigerians are going through. So if people are talking like this, they'll just be like mirage to them. They don't understand. This is not what someone will keep on keeping quiet. You understand? This is... Let me not just say that. Make a drop out for you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.